want to take a second and talk to you about how to use the Marvin JS tool when we're drawing these chair conformations. So this question here says to draw cis 1 ethyl 3 methyl cyclohexane in its lowest energy conformation. So we're going to look down below and it's kind of hard to see here but there's a chair here, right? another chair. These are different chair-chair interconversions. There's some sawhorse stuff, some Newman things down here, and then there's a couple chairs here that have hetero atoms in it. This one has oxygen, this one has nitrogen in it. So we're going to pick one of these. It doesn't really matter which one. We'll grab one, put it on here. Uh, notice all these um, atoms are numbered here. And we want to put the substituents at one and three. So they need to be, uh, you know, there needs to be one carbon between them. So we don't have to put them on the actual carbon number one here on, on carbon three. We could choose this and put one of our ethyls here, right, and then a methyl at a carbon here. That would be the same as one and three. Or you could put it here and here if you wanted to. Now let's just put it at one and three since they're numbered this way and I think it makes it easier for students. So one has an equatorial position here and an axial position down here. Three has an equatorial and an axial position. The atoms that are our substituents, this ethyl and the methyl, those groups, they have to be cis. So this is up, it's on the top face, and this is on the top face. So we're gonna change this into a carbon here. So I'm gonna use the keypad right to see. And then I'm gonna come up here and grab that guy, and then I'm gonna make that an ethyl right there. And then this needs to be a methyl, so we'll use the keypad and just write the letter C there. And then we'll go through now and we'll see if this is correct. And let's see if we get a check mark here. Yay, there we have it. So again, that's kind of the idea here. And just to show you guys that we could do this um, in different ways. Let's take a look at a, another option here. So let's take another one of these chairs and let's grab this guy, put it in here. Notice that that's a different chair than we grabbed before. And here's one and three. But let's just say that we don't want to use one and three. We want to use different numbers here. So we could put an atom here. So that could be our ethyl. So we'll change this into our ethyl here. Right, and then we're going to move over one, two, and then we'll change this guy right back here into a methyl. And, and I don't know if you can see this right now, but there's a little error that happened there when I did that. So when I changed that to a CH3, it somehow tried to connect it here to this atom. I don't like that, so I'm going to write that as an H again, and I'm going to grab this guy, and I'm just going to get my tool here, my little selection tool. I'm going to grab it and I'm just going to pull it down a little bit just like this. I'm going to come over here I'm going to grab that guy and then I'm going to change that into just a CH3. So when I highlighted that atom there with this tool and I go through and I make that change it just changes specifically this atom and it doesn't try to make a weird connection there. But this is also cis. So on the bottom side here and the bottom side those are on the same face of the ring. And then we hit submit and we get it correct. So we're not locked into using the numbering system that they have. It's all, you know, not super relevant. It can be useful and it works well for students, but the big important thing is that we put them cis to each other and that we put them in the equatorial position.